All right, y'all. Welcome back. We got us. I've already taken down probably about, I don't know, maybe about seven or eight of those, having to get some of the doors out. But what you see is a junk man's paradise. Probably not gonna film too much. I'm in a operating business. So there's people here, but we got lots of work to do. I'm loading each one on the dolly, strapping it down, and then hitting the road. But we got lots and lots and lots of goodies. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, this is what we got down so far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It seems like I've gotten down 20, but they're on the second story. And that's what's so bad about it. I've been taking out a few drawers, but I'm kind of over that as well, because I'm going to have to bring down all those drawers. So I brought that one down with a bunch in it. Uh, really the top one is main so I can hold it while I'm bringing it down but y'all I'm gonna be so sore tomorrow but they got all kinds of stuff like old exercise I mean this is a, this is a physical therapy place so they do you know you had an injury of some sort they got therapy stuff but just old equipment like this um, old computer stuff you know the deal just when you do a clean out but I'm going to tell you what, I hit the gold mine because she said she had about six or seven and there's probably six or seven more plus everything else. So I'm going to get as much as I can today. There's some chairs, all that good stuff. So anyway, y'all, I'm worn out already. But we're going to keep rocking and rolling. Y'all, this turned out to be so much work. Holy cow. Um, I, I'm not going to be able to move tomorrow. Like, honestly, these had to come off the second floor and down uh, down curve steps. It's just, and there's more. There's so much more up there. I just, uh, this is it today. Couldn't do any more. Also out of room. But I'm not going to be able to move tomorrow or Thursday probably. But anyway, just wanted to show you we're done. And uh, we're going to head to the scrapyard. I have no idea how much this is going to weigh. My trailer is doing something funny as well. Can y'all see how that tire is sitting like that? It's like pointed in. I mean, I got two different size tires, but it's kind of funny. I don't know what's up with that. But we're going to hit the road and uh, get this to the scrapyard, and we'll see how much we get. Hopefully the crane's working today, too. That'd be the icing on the cake if the uh, crane wasn't working. We'll see. You want to know what a dead giveaway is that the crane's not working? That it's parked over there and then he pulls up with a new one. What did I say earlier about the icing on the cake would be the crane not working? And also see how far the metal is out. There's literally nowhere for anybody to put anything. because everybody's parked random places putting everything out. But no good deed goes unpunished, y'all. Did the little clean out job. Managed to mash the absolute doo-doo out of my thumb all the filing cabinets he tried to push them out with the um, forklift and it messed up you can't really see it but it got caught on that piece of metal pushed that piece of metal out and it has since started raining done for the day going home all right y'all good morning here we are loaded up uh, we are actually at the hospital and so I wasn't allowed to film inside, but um, lots of shelving units, uh, one cabinet. Don't really know how much this is gonna weigh, but you know, what about this? Price was right. Um, unfortunately, they're incomplete shelves. There's no support systems for the sides. These are just the shelves themselves, uh, no cases or anything. But like I said, price was right. And an old filing cabinet system there. And uh, yeah. So we got us some weight this morning and actually found out that um, they're gonna be getting rid of us some two really, really big pieces in the uh, pharmacy. Um, there's a robot in there that turns around and picks the medicine. And then there's a big rotating cabinet that has shelves inside of it that is absolutely massive. Probably looking at about a year timetable on that. Could be sooner, but uh, if we get to do that, y'all, that'll be a big, big payday. Big, big project. Probably the biggest project we've ever done here on the Hunting and Scrapping channel. So maybe that'll come to fruition. But we'll see. Sun shining today. No more rain. We're going to head to the scrapyard and see how much we get for this. Let's go. 
so this guy was getting ready to get this truck off and I don't know if you can see it but the claw at the front will stop spinning <laughs> so we saw the other day that one was broke and then they brought a replacement and you can see what the replacement is doing so yeah that ought to be fun right but that's hilarious that that thing is still spinning shame to see that old truck hit the sack like that but I reckon she's got to go Looks like she's done all she can do. Y'all, that is hilarious. That thing is spinning like that. So again, looks like no crane. Guess we better get to work. I wanna see how they plan on doing this. Looks like they got it down. There we go. There we go. They finally stopped spinning, I reckon. That's crazy. Do y'all see what I see? Refrigeration units. I was coming to give me some lunch and guy happened to be standing out there and he said, if you want it, it is yours. So guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna pull down there and get it, baby. That's a good score right there. Hadn't seen the chickens in a while. They're still doing good. They're, um, they're all laying regularly and we got plenty of eggs. So that is awesome. Chickens are really cool. I really, uh, really had no idea about them. So I'm glad we got them. They're, they're, they're cool. We're going to set up their light tonight. It's supposed to get down in the twenties. So we'll get their light set up, get them all nice and toasty in there, but they're out enjoying some, the last few remaining crickets and grasshoppers. But this is what we just scooped up a little bit ago. Uh, there at that Applebee's, they were, I just, that was perfect timing. Um, I just was rolling through there. was going to get me a sub for lunch and uh they were taking it out and i said hey what you gonna do with that so here it sits and what's even better is there's no freon in there so when i cut that copper it won't hiss at me uh letting that freon out into the environment i'm sure some environmental person is cringing at the thought of that but <clears throat> this piece right here has got two motors on it um with the aluminum fan blades got the aluminum copper condenser on the front side and then of course you see here we've got the sealed unit and all the copper pipe plus the metal actually it's got two sealed units in there it's got one right there and one tall in there so yeah really good pickup really really good pickup um we'll get that taken apart so that's it for today uh that's what we got going on and tomorrow a really 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 big pickup we're gonna go back um to where we got the um, filing cabinets and you'll see that, that that actually turns into one video where we got the filing cabinets and then we're going to go back there tomorrow uh, and finish cleaning that place out. She says she had a lot more. I don't think it's filing cabinets. I think it's old exercise equipment and stuff like that. So we'll see. All right, y'all. We're going to go hunting tonight. Wish us luck and we'll see you tomorrow. All right. 
loaded down. Friday, 4.30, got my help over there. They are so mad at us right now. But I didn't want to film again at the place because you know, it's weird. Some people don't like it. But, got my help right there on LD. We're gonna get this unloaded and get out of here because it is almost 4.30 and it's Friday and oh, big guy in there is mad right now. Isn't that right, Luke? We made it. Was not planning on coming to the scrapyard today, but um, you'll see back there, we ended up with a whole lot more uh, than I thought we would and show you that in just a little bit. Waiting at the scales and I was looking over here and that is one giant motor and one big transformer. Whoever did not get the copper out of that and out of that is crazy. Cause that was a lot. But that joker is also super duper heavy. But they, uh, they're rocking and rolling today. Crane is still not working. So you see the metal pile is expanding farther and farther out this way. And it just keeps getting bigger. Still no crane. That is, uh, it's not good for business. If it's sitting there, Foss ain't making money. So, I don't know what their plans are, but we'll see. Let's get this stuff sold. Check back with you in just a second. So we ended up stopping and got a few more bigger pieces than I anticipated. We got a hood, range, dryer, stove, dishwasher, another dishwasher, one in the back of the truck. Ended up stopping at the tractor place, got the uh, got all those little bits. This piece right here is super duper heavy. Um, picked up the really heavy pieces, like all these gears and all that mess, lawnmower blades. Just ended up with way more than what I thought. So we're gonna go ahead and get rid of everything we can. We're still gonna hold on to the uh, we're gonna hold on to the ice the ice machine stuff and get that apart. And ended up with this too, the air conditioner unit. And uh, so we'll keep that but the crane's still down, so it won't matter. I gotta unload it by hand anyway, so I guess we better get started. But at least they're working on it today, though. Maybe, just maybe, it'll be back soon. All right, y'all always like to know what we get. So this was from before, um, when I had my help with me, and we brought that, uh, that first load from the office, uh, all those, you know, chairs and Medical equipment and stuff like that. 113 for shredded steel, $22 for aluminum, $4 for some uh, cords, and just a little bit of stainless, $8, $149. So I actually split that with him. He helped me out that day. Um, and so we split that up. Today, we got a whopping $98 for shredded steel. I had one alternator and one little piece. Well, actually, it was two little pieces of copper that were just in the corner of my truck for a grand total of $105. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for this episode. I think we rolled, I'll have to go back and look. I'm doing this live, so I don't remember how many it is, but I think we um, rolled at least a, two or three trips in there, several days ran together, just trying to get all that done. Uh, so whatever you see is what you get. So that's it for this one. Um, Thanksgiving is two days from now. Today's Tuesday. And uh, I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. I hope you're able to get together with friends, family, whoever it is. I hope you enjoy yourself. I uh, hope you remember to be thankful for what you have. Be content with what you have. Um, that's the most important thing, I do believe. So, I enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it. And we will see you on the next video.